Hello guys, welcome back. This is Vector Graphics. Or uh, this is Vector from Vector Graphics, and today I'm bringing you guys a very nice little tutorial. I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on the Twitch package, uh, a totally free Twitch package. As you guys can know, the people who followed me on Twitter, I released this package for absolutely free of charge, and they actually downloaded it. Anyway, I just wanted to make a tutorial. A couple of people asked me how to do this, so that's why you guys are there, and that's what this video is all about. And today I'm gonna be teaching guys the twitch package which i which are you seeing right now so anyway i'll be uh, giving the link for the uh, template down below for absolutely free of charge and if you are using me just tweet at me saying uh, you used my uh, uh, my package my design anyway it's uh, it's 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 just you know it's so nice by know that you guys are using my design anyway let's get started so first of all yeah it's simply this one and the starting soon uh, Twitch design. So today it's uh, starting to this kind of easy, and uh, uh, this often looks very nice. So I'm going to be teaching you guys this how to make this one. Anyway, let's get started. And the canvas size I'm going to be using for this is going to be a normal thumbnail size, which is 1920 by 1080. It's like the normal resolution which I use for like most of most of the design like the normal design so it's gonna be 1920 by 1080 p or you can have the background contents white but anyhow I'm just gonna leave it transparent for high quality and the resolution can be 300 it's gonna be pixels and that's pretty much it and just click OK so your canvas is right there and I'm just gonna just place this image right there for reference while I'm doing the design so it doesn't really matter by any way I'm just gonna place this in a little like that it's the same thing but sometimes I would have cropped it or something there might be like a small change in it yeah that's right or just gonna scale it like that yeah I'm gonna be making this kind of like a design uh, my video so I'm gonna cancel this right there and uh, just create a new layer by starting so there are several ways of creating a layer you can press so ctrl shift n to bring up a new layer and you can name this layer whatever you want like you know blackout tree clipping or something and you can just you know get that thing going on that's what it's gonna look this thing yeah so the layer i'm gonna hide it so as you guys can see right there i have kind of like a mountain like a mountain feel like like it's not just a normal background you obviously can see something in the background so let's just get that thing right there I'm gonna import an image actually I'm gonna place an image right here you can replace embedded or you can normally drag your file it's completely it's your choice if you do really want you can use whatever you want like the style you want and I've downloaded an image and I used uh, unsplash.com to download the image. They have seriously dope royalty free pics that you can just go and download it. Uh, yeah, that's totally free. So this one I'm going to be placing this one right there. So click place. Yeah, so once the image is placed, so control T just to zoom in just a bit. So I just want to fill it like that, right? Something like that. I just want to fill it like that. So I think that's cool. Something like that should be good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna click OK to it. Right, right there. It's transforming the layer. Yeah, yeah, it might take time because it's a, like kind of like very high quality image. Anyway, now we're gonna be applying some gradient overlay to it. As you guys can see, it's like super different image, and we're gonna be applying gradient overlay. So go right here to this half circle menu, and what you have to do is click on this and give gradient map. So I'm going to be using a gradient map of color, like a very dark little color, or the color could be like around like this one. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be using like like a different different style back or uh, out there. So maybe even this would like give something like a sort of dark color. Like this might be perfect. You can give reverse to it, but um, yeah, you can give reverse. You can have it like that, but. In this case, let's go with the reverse because it looks more realistic to it. Now you can see that offline, like like really, really nice blur in the background, like offline. So it's actually a pattern only. I'll also teach you how to do that as well. So first of all, decide everything before you make a pattern only, and just go for the text tool and just make the text kind of pretty bigger and caps, uh, full caps of my yeah. This is the font that I use. I believe it's Hemi or sorry Marasek. This is the font that I use. It's called Marasek. So you can just kind of place it in the middle 
or like that and now th this is what you're gonna be applying like a pack nowhere so what you have to do just hide everything right there go for edit and go for define pattern so you're gonna define this pattern like offline or something and you can just uh, off offline I just call it off or something and you can save it like clicking ok so once then you can just bring up this this highly offline and uh, create a brand new layer and in this case you can fill any color you want it doesn't really matter and go for right here fill and just make the fill zero and double click on it and go for blending options and go for pattern overlay and uh, right there we have saved the latest one right here it's called the offline right there as you guys can see or uh, make sure the opacity of this 100 and reduce the scale to get that nice little feel yeah there you go now it's all in your hands to just check with look which one really really looks perfect in this case in this case can be just make sure you can see the offline text because it's not worth it if you don't have maybe like 17 to, i think 16 would look more better yeah 16 looks like so much better to me I can just place it where I really want. Now, as you guys can really see uh, from the other one, I've done a kind of a motion blur to it. So I'm also going to be doing a motion blur. So some of the people do not really like the motion bl blur feel, but you can like it's kind of really dope. And anyway, we can just go right here, give rasher as lay style, and it becomes just one layer. You can go right there for filter and make sure you convert it to a smart object so you can always change the blur. You can go filter, you can go blur, and you have to give uh, I'm sorry, not motion blur, it's actually motion blur. Sorry, guys, and give motion blur to it. And this is too much, maybe like maybe like. 10 would work yeah like uh, sorry you have to see the offline text not going on something like this then it's like pretty useless having this here but people do it they when they really want to create some text effect something like this they really do it but in my case i'm gonna leave it on 10 and click ok so if you really want to change it you can double tap on motion blur and always change shit so it's just like a bonus step anyway and the next thing now we're gonna be doing is to add the text now it's pretty pretty easy to add the text by the way uh, by the way guys and the um, oh, oh what you have to do for the offline blur you just come down and reduce your opacity so then it's not gonna make a big difference on it like like smooth like it, you just want to be like kind of like 20 percent maybe 25 would work I think yeah 25 would work like a very very smooth little design I just want to make sure just say that yeah so once that time we're gonna be working on the text and I leave all the links for the text uh, font I use in this video like two three fonts that's just basically you can just download it it doesn't really matter just you can go and download it anyway now this doesn't look the offline doesn't look or uh, that much like so much straight but you know it's the same it's a it's, it's a couple of like a pretty small different in it anyway and we're gonna be creating this kind of like vector lines like a very very small small unique lines so yeah again you want to make sure you make another new layer make sure you put any color you want because we're going to reduce the fill of it right there and reduce it like fully like make it zero and double click on it again we're going to be going for pattern overlay and we're going to select this not this time offline we're going to give the first normal pattern and just increase the scale of it to get that vector look something like that uh, not vector actually it's kind of like a line like a very small line texture you're gonna call you can have it on 284 is too much maybe like 60 will work 260 that's cool and come for normal and i think it should be color dodge or maybe subtract i hope it's on color dodge you can just or oh yeah it's overlay sorry it's actually overlay i forgot it you can see the lines right there i mean you can anytime just mess with the colors like that you can just scroll, press it down arrow key selecting on that and you can see like whole a bunch of style you can get it off like black and white it's cool as well but anyway divide is good i mean divide is good also overlay is also the same thing like which one prefers good to you is like you can just go with that me i'm just gonna go with the divide because it's giving me the same sort of a feel so because anyway i'm gonna editing i'm gonna be editing the last uh, brighten, brightness and contrast and i just don't want my image to like look so much bright in advance or something i'm just gonna like leave it as it is 
and what I'm gonna do now is like totally I'm gonna work with the text so right now yeah it's gonna be right now actually or uh, yeah just create something like that and type offline and for this in this case I'm gonna be using a font I believe or uh, should be cotton ball I don't think uh, I see see forgot the font. I think it's nexable I hope it's nexable. I think it's oh yeah yeah it's nexable guys it's actually nexable and we uh just uh, I'm, I just made the font bold and gave it a uh, slighter uh, what do you call this like a slight effect or like I just made a slight effect to it like as you guys can see it's like bending off that effects just the same font next of all the characters and yeah just control t you can just resize the image and make sure your offline looks a kind of big because that's the only text that's going to be dominating more in your uh, twitch package as i know like until i've seen I, I do a lot of twitch designs and i've seen most of the people make sure that offline and starting soon pops up more than I'm sorry, or pops up more than the other normal text. I just wanted to get that too. Anyway, this offline text is like basically done. What you have to do is to make this. Uh, I just make sometimes give different colors to my designs. I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be. Or uh, I think it's oops, keep the designs. Or something like I think it's pink. I really don't know. Man. Next time I just wanna have the colors near me, like the sample colors. Oh, yeah, this looks perfect. It kind of looks perfect because it's the same offline line color. Yeah, there you go. That's done. And we're going to go over and type right now. Right now. Anyway, this is like the normal subtext we're going to be using it. Like, resize is so much. Let's make it small. Maybe like 20. No, oh, so many is cool. So, I think it's 20. Looks cool. I mean, you can always mess around with the size. You can always change things. You can always... Make sure everything fits perfectly in your design. I'm gonna keep it something like this right now and make sure it's like fully white. I just don't want to highlight the text, but I'm just gonna highlight that now. I always do it like subtext of it. I always try to highlight stuff. Yeah, looks nice. I think the pink is I think it's pink actually. Anyway. I'm sorry guys, I'm just bad with the voice. And uh, I think those are the texts. Yeah, and the font I'm using for right now, you can mix up all also looks cool. But I think I used can I think it might have no 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 I use uh, this right one Hemi head actually and uh, it's normally uh, always uh, bold and also I mean it's not bold it's always slanted so you don't need to slant it just keep it just align it some just use your arrow key something like that just to align it perfectly and that's done and we're gonna be working with like the normal the subtext so what you wanna do is like create new layer. Like, like very much subtext you can have so many subtext text I'm very sorry and just through your market you will just create a small I mean a big rectangle and I'm gonna fill this part to it fill a color to it actually uh, you can go with any color it doesn't matter we can change it in overlay it doesn't serious matter but this this is the color that I really wanted to mess around with anyway now as you guys can see the content I had just follow me to watch our cool content will have the same thing. This is very really nice. Looks cool. I can have it like 10 would make good. Follow me. Change the color trees as well. It's oh yeah. Yeah, we just have it above this. Follow you can have like whatever you want. Like follow follow me, follow my videos, follow me to watch. I'm always bad at typing guys, I have some problem. Anyway. Watch cool content. You can go with that right there and click OK. We're gonna be working with the text as well. You can also have it in stroke. Okay, you can just go with so much, you have so much to it. And this right there, I'm gonna make this one like pure white. I just don't want this to be highlighted anymore. Like Right there, yeah, yeah. Only the cool content pops up. I, I think uh, I'm not really happy with this text. Yeah. Anyway, uh, font doesn't really matter because I'm really happy with this font that I've used 
I used this font to buy the way before and you have like seriously it's all done like this is seriously the basic design and you can see like the normal normal lines going on like a like a nice little architecture you know techy feel or something you can do so by using a pen tool but before it just go for brush and make sure you know, brush should be very small yeah it should be like six i think six to seven yeah it's actually four let's leave it at maybe five five would work five to six it's like very small and yeah once you set up your brush just go grab your pen tool and click or on the, something like that like maybe like right here from here holding on shift to make a line like that i can go stroke path give my brush like there you can it might be normally in the default pencil give brush and click ok wait there it filled it just delete to give delete path done and you can go for a color overlay and change the color of it maybe to white or a green just stick with the color guys like make sure you stick with the same color scheme something like that and what i'm gonna do is just duplicate it i'm gonna press alt right there and grab this sorry this right there alt and grab this right there keep it somewhere here i think i made this pretty big anyway this really, really seriously doesn't really matter about it like unless and until you get the same work done something like there I mean, you just be creative with your design and yeah that's pretty much it and yeah the normal rectangle creating layer you can see that nice little line going on like a gradient fill that really helps out in your designs you can really do so you have to go create a new layer of the market tool you can use the rectangle tool as well so it goes like that and make sure you fill the path. I pressed Alt and Backspace. If you want uh, the first color right here, in my case it's pink. If you do want the bl uh, black one right there, you can switch it or Control Backspace to get a black color for me. And anything, and it's anything fine, right? We're gonna be giving a gradient overlay to it. So right there, go gradient overlay. I'm gonna say like I actually have the color there, right there. I think this one right here. Oh yeah, right this one. So I'll say the hexacodes. I'm gonna be using a pink which has EA164D and the blue actually should be O D zero D six zero A seven. So that's the color. I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna make it even as it is as before. Maybe the blue I can make my blue a kind of look a bit darker. So then our uh, it looks kind of really natural with the design and blends more with the design. So yeah, 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 guys, that's pretty much it. And that's the basic design. And the template will be there free in the description down below. You can check it out. And also follow me on Twitter because I every day post every design, like free designs. I'll be selecting like the, the people who retweet and like my video or DM them, them the link. Sorry for my language. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I'm working it's so nice. I mean, uh, uh, with the help of you guys, thank you so much for the support in Twitter and pretty much appreciate it. The link for this is right down below. You can always check it out. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.